Hello everyone, my name is Arturo, but you can just call me Mr. Unemployable. Well, here we are. It's the end of the Indian National Football League season, and as promised, our featured match is SC Goa to close the season out. And what a season it's been. We've already won the Indian Federation Cup. Well, guess what? We've done the double East Bengal. Five points clear of Mohan Bagan with a game still left to play. We have won the title. We have qualified for the Champions League. I gotta say, uh, coming to India, I did not expect to win the double in my first year. Could have been a treble if I hadn't uh, crashed out of the Duran Cup. In fact, that loss against La Jong was one of only four across all competitions all year. Undefeated in all of our many preseason friendlies. Lost in extra time to La Jong. It'd go a long way. To our rather humiliating loss of 4-1 to Mohan Bagan as they were chasing to try and stop us from winning the title, which they ultimately could not stop us from doing. But despite scoring the first goal, Randy Martin's uh, first minute strike was undone by a hat trick from Ryan Khan and a cherry on top from Subhash Singh. So that ruined our chances at a perfect season, but the boys re bonded, or responded quite nicely with rebound matches, a 3-1 win against Lejong, a 6-2 demolition of Dempo. And a 4-0 win over Mohamedan. This was the match that clinched the game for us. With that win, 4-0, we confirmed we would be winning the league with one, a two, a three games in hand. We won the first game in hand against Pune, 4-2. Not a shocker there. Lost this one, 1-0 one to Bengaluru. That was a bit of a shocker. And it was in a 90th minute uh, set-piece goal from James Chakraborty, which that uh, that's a little bit of a kick in the teeth. Not like it mattered. I mean, the undefeated season was already ruined by the humiliating loss to uh, Mohan Bagan, but you always want to win your, your home closing match. That's always important. But such as it is, we still win, and now we have a nice, easy match to see the season out against SC Goa. And the nice thing, too, is that our season doesn't end here. We've got a lovely match in the second round of the Confederations Cup coming up against Bangladesh's Mukhtajara SKC. Should be That should be a win. The thing about the second round is it is a one-and-done before you get to the quarterfinals and semifinals, which are two-legged affairs. So this is a one-and-done to get through to the quarterfinals, which would be fantastic. So other notes here, we have an all-Indonesian second round, uh, Arema versus Persipura, and an all-Uzbekistan in matches, Lokomotiv Toshkent and Pakstakor. Should be interesting, if nothing else. The other thing to consider here is that... Uh, you know, it, it was a very, very good group for us. A very good group indeed. We ended up finishing with 13 points, 4 wins, 1 draw, and a loss. That loss to Persipura only precipitated a wonderful thumping of Yangon to see the uh, to see the group stage out. 5-0 over Yangon. 2 goals from Ranty Martins, 1 from Kingsley Amanike, a goal from Belarusak, and 1 from Mozaid Islam, who the, the youngster just refuses to play his level of a 4-star. I couldn't be happier with his performances. It's been absolutely stellar across all competitions. Average 7.62 across all competitions for the youngster. What a season for him. Now, you have to think this is going to be some sort of statistical outlier. There's no way he can continue this next year. His development curve has been so slow. But if you're fit and you got stamina in a low-quality league, you can get stuff done. And that is definitely the case here. It was a good job from Mod Zaid Islam. He wasn't nominated or even awarded in any of the most recent end-of-month awards, those being, being the April awards from the league. If we go to the award table here. Uh, team of the week, Karajit Singh in that 1-0 loss. No big deal. But what we want to hear is player of the month for April. Bikamjit Singh over Rain Khan and Senjun Singh in Dempo. Marsh, Eugenson, Lingdo, Ranty Martins, and Dodong Hyun sweep it. Pretty solid job there in March. In player of the... Where the heck is it here? Goal of the month. Well, no shocker there. Didika with a lovely goal from distance. We all remember that one against Lajong. If you're watching the live streams, it was a beautiful goal. Glad to see that one. And the young player of the month. Again, I don't understand how Islam is not here. His ratings are just absolutely sensational. But no such luck there. Manager of the Month. Now, where the heck is it? I know there's a Manager of the Month award here somewhere. There it is. That's, that's of the year. Head Coach of the Month. Uh, there we go. March. 
Yeah, it was a good march for us. It was a very good march for us as we swept all those awards. Very happy with it. Not even in the conversation for April because of those losses, but whatever, no big deal. The important thing now is the award voting. For player of the year, forward of the year, midfielder of the year, defender of the year, and goalkeeper of the year. You can vote for your own players. So I did. Uh, Do Dong Hyun was my vote for player of the year. Forward of the year. Went to Ranty Martins. Kingsley Amanike, a great shout as well, but ultimately I went with Ranty Martins. Don't understand how Dudu got uh, one appearance and two goals and something got nominated. It seems a bit of a weird uh, nomination process there. Midfielder of the year. Uh, to somebody who does not exist anymore? Okay. Uh, Do Dong Hyun, again, my vote there. Didika also getting the shortlist. Defender of the Year. I vote for, what for, Sandesh Jingan, who apparently is no longer in the running. That's a little bit unusual. And Goalkeeper of the Year, I vote for Karan Jeet Singh, because of course I did. A bit of a weird bug there that doesn't actually show the proper award winners. Speaking of bugs, I showed you the schedule here. We've been killing it. Looking at the league table itself, that doesn't seem right that the team in 10th is being relegated over the team in 11th. Something seems a little bit wonky there. You would think Bao Rao would be the one getting relegated. I don't know why Pyun is uh, getting relegated over Bao Rao. That honestly just makes no sense to me. Uh, Mohamedan, who came up last season from the lower divisions, fourth place in a season in which they were 2,000 to 1 odds gains to win the title. So a fourth place finish for them is absolutely sensational. They'll be very happy with that, and they'll probably be looking to do well again next season. It'll be interesting to see if Royal Wangdo comes back up. Royal Wangdo, of course, where we are approaching Levde Okachukwu to uh, replace Belo Razak for next season. Also got Dipjit Boz and Hendrayani coming in as well. Boz is a fullback that we think should be a better prospect for us than Sujong Babu. He's certainly already on the hits the ground running better than Babu and Gorong, for that matter. And Hendrayani... Uh, he's, we brought him in, can't afford to scout him, but he is coming in purely as a, if you can believe this, as our, as a coach. He may, may say he's coming in as a player, but no, he's coming in as a coach. That is a, that is a hiring for the backroom staff. To try and improve that, help our, help our training, such as it is. And that should put us in good stead for next season. Because, again, we got a Champions League to worry about next season. And in Champions League, the... In, or the Indian teams, if I recall, come in on the east in the second preliminary round. There we go. Sal Gokar got beat up 3-0 by Hong Kong's Kichi. So that's where we have to make our mark next season is coming in in the third or second preliminary now, second preliminary round. I swear I can speak. I swear I can. And that would have been in January. So we got some time to prepare. Hopefully, the squad will be good to go. And who knows? I might not even still be here. So looking at the job center... Again, I am Mr. Unemployable. I flit from job to job. We got some openings in China. We got some openings in Malaysia, Russia, Turkey. I'm not going back to Indonesia. I've been there, done that. But uh, Turkey is one of those places that I am very interested to try and get to. So we'll see. We'll see if that uh, becomes a possibility. But for now, it's victory lap time. Can we improve from five to eight points over Mon Magan? Let's see what we got. We're going with the standard starting lineup here. Karanjit Singh, Sujan Mabu, Robin, Robin Gurung, Govan Singh, Bela Rizak is injured. That'll be his uh, unfortunate end to his career with us. Torn knee ligaments. He's gone, so it'll be Gurung and Singh starting. Mohamed Shajuri getting to start over Gurjinder Kumar, because we know Kumar is fantastic as a left back. There's no denying that. He's a starter. Shajuri, though, needs his minutes. He definitely needs his minutes, so he's getting the start here. Dodong Hyun on the right, Metab Hussain in the center of Mozart Islam because, I mean, this youngster has just been fantastic for us. And Didika on the left, Robin Singh, who's back from his injury, thank goodness, and Ranty Martins with Suvik Chakraborty, Gurjinder Kumar, Eugenson Lindu, who's been an excellent depth midfielder for us. Very happy to have him to swap in with Metab Hussain when yellow card trouble becomes a thing. Laria Shadori, Mohamed Hussain, and Kingsley Amanike. Sounds good to me. Let's do it. Victory for East Bengal, yeah, it sounds about right. I tend to agree with that kind of a of an assessment. Encourage you to push on, all right. Give them one last performance to cheer for. Hey, they bought it. They bought it big time. As you go in their orange and white, East Bengal, the red and gold brigade, of course, in their blue kits. Because why would you wear red and gold? 
when your name is the Red and Gold Brigade. That would just make too much sense. Turang Hyun. Back to Babu. Just saying that's a very odd looking back pass, and that was a dangerous looking tackle. Easily been a red. As it is. East Bengal lose position. SC Go would be knocking it around looking for a way in. Gorong's about to clear, and now Islam. Send a long ball to Martins. It's a nice pass. Martins. Wow, well, 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 well wide. Not the best we've seen from Ranty Martins. You'd at least expect him to hit the target. Since that's our only shot of the game so far. Shot 6 1 in favor of SC Goa. Good and seeing something nicely there. That should surely be for Martins! That was another... You, you put money on him to hit the target, and indeed, that will count as a clear-cut chance. But it's all SC Goa right now. I'm going to just flip to the counter. I don't know what's happened to the team here, but we're just going to flip to counter. Because they are doing very nasty things to us. Ricky Martins now sharp angle, blocked. Didika will follow up. There's the cross cleared away, and oh no... That is not the person you want to see injured ever. Oh, no. Good thing this is the last game of the season. How badly? Head injury. Okay. If we're lucky, it's a concussion. Uh, that'll be Muhammad Hussain coming in. All right, youngster. Make the most of your time. Half hour work from Dorong Hyun. Not good at all. We have to Didika to try and carry the load from the wings here. And Martin's going to start hitting the target. Sharp angle shot there, nothing doing. Three quick out chances now for East Bengal. We have not hit the target with any of them. That is... That is rather depressing. Fernandez with the cross! Fernandez with the goal! Steven Fernandez with an easy little tap in Gurung. Robin Gurung, where were you, buddy? That looked like something you should have been able to take control of. And Fernandez with the cross. Indeed, Gurung just falls asleep and allows Steven Fernandez to get that easy tap in. Not solid defending. And certainly not a good response to having lost Dodong Hyun. You can argue that maybe Singh should have challenged for that a little more if he knew the cross was coming in. But I mean, by all, by all looks, Gurung was there. So we'll put that one on the defender. Hussein. Islam. Good ball for Martins! Oh, that's beautiful stuff from Ranty Martins. That's much more what we like to see. His 30th of the season is a good marker. And it brings the score back to one before halftime. Another assist for the young Mod Zaid Islam. First time ball, bar down in. So pretty. It's our only shot on target, and it's our fourth cricket chance. This one at least goes in the back of the net. So at least we're, you know, making our shots on target count, but I'd like all of our shots to count. Period. Robin Gurung, yeah, wearing the goat horns for that one. Far from pleased. Sort it out, please. Good. They got the message. May end up benching uh, Gurung for Chakraborty. If it comes to that. One of Sane's free kick is cleared and he inexplicably decides to chase it after being blocked and comes away with it. Muhammad Hussain. There's the cross. Headed! Oh, that's a lovely header. See, that's the Ranty Martins we all know and love. Can hit the target, can make it happen. He had to put a few stinkers out there, but that's much better. Muhammad Hussain getting a good assist here. Nice ball right to the six yard box, and Ranty Martins leaps over two men to get that lovely looking header into the corner. 2 1 freeze Bengal. That's what you like to see. Can he get the hat trick now? I would certainly put those earlier misses to rest. Meanwhile, Matai was saying gets himself a yellow. No shocker there. 
Guarantee one per game for him. Shadouri. Islam. Nothing doing there. And back of the way comes S.C. Goa. Snuffed out by Mitab Hussain. Well done to Okoli. A dangerous member of S.C. Goa's attack. Steve Fernandez. Kitab Fernandez. But Fernandez off the bar! Cleared that time by Govind Singh. Very nearly an equalizer there for SC Go. We've actually managed to turn that shot count right around 15 to 10, 60 to 10. Now that's much better. Gorong and Babu are not looking too shit, too uh, sharp though. So let's push Gorong onto the right. He can play as a fullback. I'll bring Chakraborty in for Babu as a central defender. Defending. Yeah, that stopper roll is very tricky. Not entirely certain that Gurung played it to the best of his abilities. Good block there. Another good block. Fire drill defending a bit there for East Bengal. But it's still all good for us. Free kick now for the Red Gold Brigade. Oh, Didika unlucky to hit the bar there. Could have been 3-1. It's one crossbar for each team now, so it all balances out in the end. Coley. Can he get something started on the counter here for Sigoa? Maybe. It's a long one for Diaz. He'll get the cross in. No, Shakra Borti does well. The youngster stepping forward to snuff that out. And because Singh is just back from injury, we'll, uh, we'll pull him back. And we'll let Kingsley Amanike do his stuff. But Ranty Martins into a defensive role. Don't want to push Robin Singh. He is a core piece of this attack. No sense for him doing the full 90 after he's just back from injury. And Ranty Martins will still get his hat trick, so it's all good in the end. Lovely little placed shot. 81 minute hat trick. Very nice. And now, was he offside? The SC go up to his playing Didika? Oh, maybe. Let's take that back just a bit here. Ooh, you know, there might be a case. He's just in line with Mondal there, but he does look to be just a half step ahead. There might be a case for offside there. But the flag stays down. The ball stays in the back of the net. Ranty Martins is his hat trick. East Bengal should finish the season eight points clear. Morbagana top the table. Gurung steps forward nicely there. Amanike. Move ahead. Brought down from behind. No call. Doesn't matter. Martins. Islam. Hussain. Martins. Amanike looking to add to the gold, gold tally, but Bharacharya is there to keep it out. And that should do it. A title winning campaign. Not just a title winning winning campaign, but the double. The Indian Federation Cup and the league title. As Kingsley Amanike will put the cherry on top. 4-1 for East Bengal. Surely the last touch of the game there. A lovely ball up top to Amanike. Clearly on side for that one. Skips the last challenge. Islam will not have been happy to have uh, let that one by so easily. And Kingsley Amanike, the Nigerian connection between Randy Martins and Kingsley Amanike, solid as ever. I don't know why we're even blowing the whistle for that one. We're past the two minutes. Just stick a fork in it, ref. This game's done. There we go. That's the season. 4-1 for East Bengal. And a fantastic way to end a title winning run. Eight points clear. One began with a 14-4 and two record, 46 points out of a possible, what is that? It's 46 points, it's pretty good. 20 matches played, possible 60 points, 46 is pretty darn good. Uh, oh, Iron Curtain, you better believe it's the Iron Curtain. Achievement unlocked, fewest goals conceded all season. Very nice indeed. Uh, concussion, 9 or 12 days. Okay, whew. I mean, you never like seeing players get concussions, but thank goodness that's all we had to worry about. How upset are you with that result coming? Uh, 
Da -da, proud of my performance. With much pride indeed. Uh, great to score. How did you rate? We played well. Uh, he's working hard to correct it. He's capable of good stuff. When he's hitting the target, let's be honest here. Cream of the crop, 9.5 and a half, 240,000 finishing first place, because we kind of actually needed that. That is um, very, very important. Of which we pay out 195,000 of them for winning it. Uh, so we only end up coming up with, what, 55,000 at the end of the day? Well, there you go. <laughs> I was surprised by Brad's decision to fire Stuart Watkiss. And, uh... Can't... I have no strong feelings one way or the other. Well, there's that. <laughs> Next time on Mr. Unemployable, we're going to take it as written that we get through Muktijoda in the second round of the Confederations Cup, or the Asian Confederation Cup, let's get that clear. So with that in mind, we're going to pick it up in the quarterfinal. Whoever we pick up in the quarterfinal, it will be one of Al Shorta from Iraq or Tajikistan's Istiklal. We will get one of them in the quarterfinal, and we will go to the second leg of that match, assuming we get through Muktijoda. And I have no reason to assume we don't, but then again, I have lost easier matches. One of the many reasons why they call me Mr. Unemployable. Thanks for watching this episode, everybody. If you like what you've seen, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, favorite, tell all your friends about these videos on YouTube, and don't forget to join us in Twitch chat. Twitch.tv slash is where all these episodes are recording live. And Twitch had already wondering, am I going to be getting out of India as soon as possible, shaking the dust from it? Well, you never know. Those jobs in Turkey and Russia and China look mighty appealing. But we'll just take it one game at a time. My name is Arturo. Just call me Mr. Unemployable. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you, hopefully, in the quarterfinals.